Good evening everybody and welcome back to Try New Things. My name is Chris and today we're on a mission to convert or at least adapt my World War II military trailer into an effective way to water plants here on the farm. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'll show you the trailer and the kit that I've got. Hopefully I've got all the bits and pieces I need to make this work uh, because it's going to get dark here in a couple hours and before that happens I've got to water all those berries and all those new trees we just planted. So what are we working with? This is a 1940s World War II era Converto dump trailer uh, that I have here on the farm and then I use it quite a bit. It's a, it's a very practical trailer, um, but I want to convert it into a way that I can easily get water from the brook down at the bottom of the hill and take it and water the plants. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you the kit that uh, I picked up and, and hopefully it works. So here's what we have to work with tonight. Uh, from Northern Tool, I picked up a 65 gallon tank. So that's going to hold the water. And uh, from Harbor Freight, I picked up a inexpensive non-submersible transfer pump that works off 12 volt. So hopefully that's powerful enough to do the trick while at the same time not draining my battery too much. We've got a couple pieces of garden hose and then the 12 volt battery. That's my spare battery I have for the Jeeps. So if you have old Jeeps like I do, you know you need to keep around a spare battery that's charged because as soon as you want to use it, guaranteed the battery will be dead. So I've got a full charge on the Optima battery that should run the pump for I don't know how long. We'll find out. And uh, my intention is to do all the, uh, the plumbing there and uh, secure it somehow inside of the back of the trailer. Then we're going to take it down to the brook, hopefully fill it up, and go water some plants. So let's get started with all that. So in theory, this shouldn't take too long. I temporarily took the uh, tailgate off to make it easier to work. But we're going to hook one garden hose up to the tank. That garden hose gets connected to the pump. From the pump to another garden hose. And then we just have the battery to connect when it's time to pump the water. So here's our little transfer pump. Uh, it certainly looked bigger in the photo. But hopefully it does the trick. Um, we're going to have to move the hoses around a couple times. Because when I'm down at the creek or the brook and I want to fill it up, I'm going to fill it up on top. And then when we go to pump the water back out, we're going to try to connect it down here to the, uh, to the tank nozzle. Now one little neat feature that this Converto trailer has, you'll be able to see when I get this tailgate back on. Uh, move the camera give you a better view down here at the bottom of the tailgate there's a little trap door and if you open it up hopefully you can see the hole so this was designed for the purpose of running a hose out the back of the trailer so let's say they were hauling uh, barrels of, of fuel and they wanted to dispense it, they could run the hose out through the hole uh, instead of it coming up and over and that way you could still depend on gravity which looks like I'll probably have to do today because I'm missing a one adapter um, to change it from male to female so I can attach the pump when it's time to water. So I think I can use the pump to fill it but I won't be able to use the pump today to actually water the plant so I'll have to rely on gravity until I get that one one adapter. But uh, as you can see, this little port gives us the opportunity to run that hose out the back of the tailgate and take advantage, full advantage of the gravity or the displacement ahead there. So that's how we're going to go. We're going to roll down to the brook as soon as I get this hooked up to the Jeep. We'll see if we can't fill it up with water and uh, we're going to go from there. So stay tuned, we'll, uh, we'll put this thing to the test. So 
So here's the setup, folks. We got one hose going down into the brook, uh, another one going into the top of the 65 gallon tank. We have our transfer pump hooked up to a 12 volt battery, just waiting to throw the switch. And here's the, uh, the brook where I'm getting the water from. So this is supposed to be self priming. Let's, uh, let's just throw the switch and see what happens here. Other than my pump vibrating off the fender of the trailer. All right, now that the tank's filled up, and that took almost exactly 15 minutes to fill that 65 gallon tank. I filled it to about 62 gallons. So now we're going to try it out watering this uh, pear tree in front of us. Now keep in mind this is gravity fed. Uh, once I get the adapter I'll be able to hook the pump up and actually pump water from the holding tank making this process a lot quicker. But it certainly beats uh, hauling five gallon pails up and down the hill, even with gravity feed. So I'll definitely take it. It's gonna be a lot faster. It's gonna make the job a lot more enjoyable. But I do look forward to getting that adapter and being able to pump the water from the holding tank. Alright folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Try New Things, where we succeeded in converting this World War II trailer into a effective plant watering apparatus. So if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead, take the time, hit the like button, and if you liked any of my videos, it would mean a lot if you go down below and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Bye-bye.